looking into these developments all day. And Rich joins us in studio with what he's discovered in these newly uh, filed court documents. We're seeing these court documents almost every day now since this has started in the last couple of weeks and really gotten interesting. All parties now have until November 16th to submit their legal opinions on whether the state's highest court should step in and make changes to the way Special Judge Francis Gull has handled the pretrial proceedings in the double murder case against Richard Allen. Civil attorneys representing Richard Allen filed a brief Monday with the Indiana Supreme Court in support of a petition for writ of mandamus. That legal term is when a higher court orders a lower court to follow the rules or correct mistakes. Allen's attorneys argue that Judge Francis Gull lacked authority to remove Andrew Baldwin and Bradley Rosie as Richard Allen's court-appointed attorneys over his objection, even if she found his attorneys engaged in gross negligence. Ben Jaffe is a veteran defense attorney closely observing the Delphi murders case. From Mr. Allen's perspective, I can see why he'd also want to dig in his heels and say, hey, I want these attorneys who have fought hard for me and they haven't done anything wrong. And I think they're going about it the right way. You know, this writ of mandibus is the way that they get it out there and get it dealt with. And that will provide some closure, at least legally. The civil attorneys have also requested a transcript of an October 19th in-chambers conversation where Baldwin and Rosie say Judge Gull coerced them to resign. She refused to let them stay on the case during an October 31st hearing. Sort of a doubling down by the court by using the words gross negligence. And I think there are concerns in that there has not been a demonstration that's obvious to anyone as to what that gross negligence would be. Certainly there hasn't been any indication from this court that they felt the need to file some kind of disciplinary complaint or something like that. The brief asked the Supreme Court to reinstate the original court appointed attorneys. It also argues to restore the public's trust in the integrity of the judicial process in this high profile case, a new special judge should be appointed. And if the Supreme Court grants this request, Allen's civil attorneys won his jury trial scheduled within 70 days. This trial was originally set for January. Right. It was recently moved back to next October when the new public defenders were appointed for Allen. But again, all this is sort of on hold right now while we hear from the Supreme Court if they will rule on this and how they will rule on this. Mm. Yeah, meanwhile, the families of the victims That's are right. waiting.